This video is my opinion and for entertainment purposes only. These clips came from r slash anti-MLM on Reddit and Facebook. Hello my dears, it's me, Ordinary Girl Trying to Be Fabulous, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my subscribers. Welcome to my new subscribers. And welcome to those of you who are not subscribed. If you are not subscribed and you enjoy my content, I hope you will consider doing so. And even if you don't enjoy my content, I hope you will consider subscribing because you know what? I'll never tell. And besides, if you subscribe, you will make two little doggies, two sweet, sweet little doggies, very, very happy. And who doesn't want to make two little sweet little doggies very, very happy? I know I do. So, um, also, I like comments. I like interacting with my comment section. So, uh, leave me a comment. And a like and share if you want to. That's really great, too. So, yeah, do all those things. Do the thing. And I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's get to, so this is MLM Fails number 14, and I have to wait for my tablet to load because it takes forever. So we are going to start with this, and uh, these are a couple of doozies. So, let's see, me listening to a friend to tell me why she won't support my small business. Can we stop it with that? Can we can we say um, your multi-level marketing scheme is not a small business? Because it's not. Some of your CEOs, the real CEO of your business, are billionaires. You know, you can't have both. You can't have a millionaire CEO and a small business. It doesn't work that way. You know why strangers support you more than people you know? I don't know. Strangers didn't support me more than people I knew. Because people that know you have a hard time accepting that you come from the same place. But they are still in the same place. Ooh, way to shame your friends. I don't know who said it, but it's fire. No, it's not. It's nasty. That is nasty. That is... That is being a B word. Or even the C word. You know... Four letters. I think I think you get the drift of what the C word is. If I had a quarter for every woman I have mentored in my business who quit because the people they care about and think care about them refuse to support them, well, I'd be rolling in it. If you had a quarter for all of those, then you wouldn't need multi-level marketing. But um, my, my thought on multi-level marketing is um, they're so passive-aggressive. And like saying you come from the same place, but they're still in the same place. That is just really nasty. You know, I don't like, I look at my friends and I don't, I don't look down on them if they're not doing as well as I am because I'm not a nasty person. And besides, I, I got way out of, I finally saw the light and got way out of network marketing, social selling, direct selling, whatever they're calling it these days. Because this this nasty, passive-aggressive attitude just permeated the whole thing like, like spilled milk in a car in July. And I'm just not that type of person. I'm not a nasty person. So this next one, I have obviously redacted her face because we're, we're kind like that. You know, when they go low, we go high. Let's see, let's answer some questions you have about coaching. Is it a pyramid scheme? And I wish you could see this person's face that I had redacted it because it's very smug. Pyramid schemes are illegal. So the answer is no. We are a multi-level marketing company that provides some amazing products that will most definitely change your life. Okay, so murder is illegal. Meth is illegal. People still do it. Multi-level marketing 
is a pyramid scheme, put plainly, and um, the products are often very much lower quality that are very expensive. Some of the makeup brands, the makeup is like very low quality, very, cause um, I, I had a friend who sold Unique, so I bought like lip gloss and eyeshadow from her and the lip gloss, I've gotten better lip gloss from e.l.f. and Rimmel and Wet n Wild. And as you know, those brands are like a couple dollars. Whereas the lip gloss I bought from Unique was $22. And a little tiny pot of eyeshadow like that big was like, it was quite a few dollars. Whereas, you know, I got the same exact thing from um, e.l.f. And it was like a dollar or two. And the quality was, the quality in the health product was better. Um, so they'll change your life because you'll have to go into debt to stay active. And um, you'll lose friends because you'll have to like push your products all the time, 24 seven. So yeah, if you, if you wanna lose your friends, Go, go right ahead. And the next slide, um, let's see. So this person uses a lot of emojis. It's like, when I first started in this industry, I felt like I had to fit, had to defend what I did. We gotta, we gotta copy. We gotta do all the time. Okay. I've been in retail. I worked retail. I never had to defend retail. I mean, there were people who thought I was less than because I was in retail and they weren't. Um, but I never had to defend being in retail. I mean, it's a job. It's not a great one. You get paid minimum wage. Sometimes if you've been in retail a lot longer, you get paid a little more than minimum wage. Okay, but you know, it's not, it's not that horrible. And I didn't have to defend myself. Let's see, I would hear people say, and still do, very passive aggressive. Oh, that's a pyramid screen, pyramid scheme. I do English. What people fail to see is everything. Gotta use the exclamation, red exclamation points capital letters, we're yelling, is a pyramid shape. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. In a normal nine to five job, a manager gets paid more than an employee. A VP gets paid more than the manager and the CEO gets paid more than all of them. Well, yeah, cause they're, the CEO oversees the whole thing. The people who get paid the least are the people who work the hardest. You know, I wouldn't know about that. Um, I mean, sure the CEO gets paid more, but the CEO is probably working, working more and the CEO has more to oversee. So, and the manager would have more to look over. Um, being a manager is hugely different than just being a cashier and coming in and you know if someone calls out I don't have to fill their shift I don't have to find someone to fill their shift I don't have to stay an extra eight hours I can just go home but the managers were always um, you know having to do that see People who get paid the least are the people who work the hardest. Yeah, cashiers work hard, but you know, like I said, a cashier can come in and go home. They don't have to worry about the day-to-day -day overseeing of the business, um, ordering bags, things like that. In network marketing, there are no supervisors. You have an upline. There are no managers. You have an upline. No one gets paid more than anyone else because they are higher up in the company. You have an upline. Your upline gets paid more because they earn um, commissions off of everything that everyone else sells as well as what they sell. 
The people who get paid the most are the people who work the hardest. Hashtag fact. Well, I mean, y'all work hard. Y'all work 24-7 and yet you don't, your, your income disclosure statement would say that you don't get paid much at all. It's a business, not a job. It really is that simple. Well, no, it's not really that simple because you're probably making like $20 a month. And once again, we have the passive aggressive post. You know, um, when I worked retail, I never had to defend my job this hard. I never had to defend my job. At all. So, yeah. So passive aggressive. So passive aggressive. So, we'll be back in a second. Okay, so this next one, um, let's see. Good morning, sunshine. Don't call me sunshine. I hear it all the time. The anti-MLM comments. How do y'all make money from home? No MLMs. I'm interested in trying a new shampoo, makeup, etc. No MLMs. Why is this? We sit here and preach the support of small, support of each other, support other humans or small businesses, or shop local. But everyone is so against MLMs. Guess what? It's the same thing. No, it's not. You're not a small business. You did not start your business from the ground up. You did, you bought into a business that was already existing, where you have a CEO who makes millions. Some MLM CEOs are billionaires. That is not a small business. You are not a small business. You are not a CEO. Let's see. MLMs, our network marketing, has provided so much to so many. Yeah, it's put so many people in debt. It's uh, ended so many friendships. It gives the stay-at-home mom some sort of identity. Well, you shouldn't get an identity from an MLM. It gives the struggling single parent an additional stream of income to make ends meet. But they have to spend so much to stay active. So, I mean, that's money that they could be putting toward their family. They're not making any money, but they're spending a lot to stay active. It lets mamas be available. Sure, Jan. Um, the, once you get in, like, they always tell you, like, oh, you can do this in your spare time. You're online anyway. You can do it in pockets of time. And then when you get in and you're not making your upline money, why aren't you working hard enough? Why aren't you working 24-7? That's the MLM, the side hustle culture. So mamas are not available. Mamas might be at their kid's baseball game, but they are on their phone sending out hey girl messages. Let's see. It gives us all a chance to work from home during a pandemic when we had no other choice. There were a lot of jobs that switched to um, work at home during the pandemic. Oh, I remember the uh, the proper term is work from home. But there were a lot of jobs that sw switched to work from home during the pandemic. I mean, if you were like a retail associate or a nurse or a paramedic or a doctor, um... You couldn't do work from home. But, you know, like doctors and nurses, most of the time your doctor's office switched to telemedicine. And I have sat in on an appointment that the doctor was, get this, I'm about to blow your mind. I have sat in an appointment where the doctor was in their home office. Wow. Okay, so yeah, um, multi-level marketing is not the only work from home job there is. The opportunities are endless. No, they're not. Yet so many people are against them for no apparent reason. There are reasons. You know, if you, I have a whole series called multi-level marketing fails where I explain the reasons why people don't want to get into multi-level marketing. One of them is because they're expensive and there's not much return on your investment. 
The world we know is pivoting and changing. Yes, people are waking up to the scam that network marketing is. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that change is inevitable. Be ahead of the curve. Be ahead of the curve by getting into the anti-multi-level marketing movement. Okay, let's support each other unless you work in network marketing, question mark. No, that's not how this works. It works for me. Let's support each other no matter what. Well, I'm sorry, but if you're in network marketing, I am not going to support you. I cannot. I mean, I used to be in several, um, several network marketing schemes. And there was little return on investment. And I used to support my friends who were in network marketing because I bought into the lie that it was their business. Um, but no, I can't support that anymore. I will not support that anymore. Now, if you want to get uh, some uh, stones and some findings and make your own jewelry, um, I'll support that. If you want to start making dresses, I, I'll try to support that because, you know, dresses made from, um, dresses made from scratch are usually very expensive and a little out of my price range, but I'll try to support it. You want to start making accessories? If you want to start your own business, if you really want to start your business from the ground up, I will support that. But network marketing? No, I will not support that. I will not support the business model where the Federal Trade Commission says that so many people either make no money or go into debt. I mean, and it's really sad because I go to like my Facebook marketplace and there are people who are selling their stock um, from LuLaRoe and they bought thousands of dollars worth of stock and they're like selling their pieces for a dollar. Um, and I think the leggings were like 30 or $40. So if you're selling your leggings for a dollar, that's a, it's quite a loss. Because, I mean, they sold for $30 or $40. I'm sure you didn't spend $30 or $40. But, yeah, they're selling. They're just trying to get what little money they can get out of it. And paparazzi and um, other, other companies. So, I mean, yeah, don't do it. Don't get involved in network marketing. Uh, if you want to help your friends in network marketing, um... That's up to you, but just just so you know, that is helping um, helping keep people stuck in network marketing. So with that, I want to say thank you, especially if you've made it to this point of the video, because I know that there are millions of channels on YouTube and there are thousands of channels that talk about what I talk about. So if you have made it this far and you have given me a view, I really appreciate it because um, you could have given anybody a view today on YouTube. So I really appreciate you and I want to say thank you. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you in the next video. This week, I believe we are going to have a weight loss update video. Um, I think that's going to come before this video, so uh, just stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs>